Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is a sun moon rising reading. Okay, it is a general reading. The energies do ebb to and fro. Okay, they are very flexible and very fluidic. <coughs> fluidic, I should say. Before we actually get into the reading, I'd like to thank everybody for their support in 2023 and I wish a very happy new year to everybody. Cross watchers, new viewers, thank you very much for your support in whatever way you manifested that support okay i'm very very grateful it's very heartwarming to know that my readings do help you okay and uh, let's the channel is keeping growing it's growing continuously but very slowly which is the way i like it okay if if i woke up tomorrow and all of a sudden i saw a million subscribers i would uh, question that okay a sudden leap slow is better i've learned that a lot okay let's hope 2024 is a much more a year of equilibrium for you in energies okay a lot more passive rather than fluctuating aggressively okay so with that said what's going on for the sign of gemini angel spirits guides what's going on for the sign of gemini Here we go. And your spirits guides. Sign of Gemini. Straight off the bat, three. Oh, I like threes. Getting creative, Gemini. All right. There's a certain connection here. Okay, you are becoming much more self-aware. All right, and you know, I'm getting a sudden breakthrough with a relationship. But what I'm getting is where you was perhaps controlled in the past. You're now getting very creative. You're seeing the way forward, not this person. But this person does want you to take the lead. It doesn't seem that way, but perhaps they want you. Perhaps they're trying to encourage you to take the lead. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Hmm. You are being very apprehensive, though. You're going at your pace. All right, Gemini, you're going at your pace. You are evaluating the situation. Like I say, you're getting very creative. You want to forge this new pathway opening for you in relationships, in work, whatever the situation, there's a new pathway opening up for you in 2024. A great start. And, you know, things that you've been pondering to do, okay, in 2023, it's now a question of, yeah, literally now or never. You reevaluating your life. You reevaluating relationships. You're restructuring relationships. I'm kind of getting there is one particular relationship here. Whatever your circumstances, you are trying to turn your back on. You're looking for a fresh start. Okay, finally, literally, your ships have come in. Okay, the universe has rewarded you for your efforts in 2023. All right, and now the onus is on you. All right, so whatever your situation, I'm kind of getting there is change here, but you're you're kind of slowing things down despite your drive, despite your ambition, despite your enthusiasm. Okay, it's kind of like you're now preparing yourself. There could well be a situation here that is changing. In fact, there is a situation that's changing, and some of these changes you're going to instigate rather drastically. Okay, it's letting go of old lifestyles. Letting go of the way you approach relationships. Hmm. Yep. It's finally realising the truth about a connection here. You gaining confidence, okay. There is a lot of fire energy around you, so if you're dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius, okay. I'm getting Aries a lot more for, for a lot of you, okay? But regardless of that, this fire energy, all right, you're... Mm, yeah, this person does preserve a bit of a challenge. There's a very strong attraction here, a very strong energy of togetherness, but there's something 
around a person that you it's not that you don't trust them it is that you sense there's kind of an ulterior motive you sense that something's not quite right about their motives okay it's kind of like not asking you've learned not to ask them direct questions but i'm kind of getting you coaxing the truth out of them what i'm getting you're getting very creative here all right and that there is somebody who perhaps you've been disconnected from wants to come back in but it's like yeah you you, you just basically want the truth you trust in your intuition okay and it, it for some of you it is kind of a, a love hate thing it's an on off relationship okay whatever your circumstances whatever their circumstances there is this attraction between you two but you you perhaps feel this person is being a bit overzealous and pushy okay and you're kind of hmm, let's just think about this for a moment all right i want to know how you actually feel hmm. it's locking up all your energies but you are yeah it's like you're seeking some kind of cooperation let's see what else we have here you do see this as a very challenging situation challenging relationship okay yeah I mean the solution is to be very resolute the solution is not to let your emotions get carried away I'm kind of getting you've let your emotions lead the way in the past now this is more of a decision you are at a crossroads this is more of a decision about intuitive past experience logical because your intuition is screaming at you perhaps in the past you neglected your intuition okay but there's something new here and it requires focus but there is a kind of a fear of commitment because of a commitment mm, that's an interesting concept isn't it now you they could be perhaps married or living with somebody have kids or the same could be for you so it's kind of like in that sense is there is this energy of wanting to be together with somebody but because of your physical situation and their physical situation there's this kind of fear because there's a fear of loss but there's a very there's a lot of enthusiasm here and it does mean a lot of work this is a situation I'm kind of getting that isn't going to be resolved very quickly. It's going to need a plan. It's going to need focus and it's going to need resolution in, in the sense that once you start this, you can't change your, well, changing your mind and backtracking in a couple of months time is, you know, going to be very, very difficult. You know, regardless of your physical situation, regardless of theirs, there's this energy of wanting to be together. I'm picking up some kind of, can we meet and let's see how things go. Try to discuss the future. But the big question mark, what are your intentions? What, if, what are your motives? Why now kind of energy? See, with this judgment card here, yeah, I'm kind of getting, you know, your hard work's paying off, but it's it's going to need planning. Hmm. Oh, the sun card. The truth finally coming out. Wow. It does have red flags. You know, it just means this this robe here. It's it's kind of a bit like that devil energy. It's it's a forewarning of be careful. Be, you know. Be a bit more carefree. Let go of any inhibitions, okay? And do follow your intuition. It doesn't mean make a life-changing decision based purely on intuition. It has to be based on your history and relationships. It has to be based on knowing yourself, what you're capable of, what you what you actually want in life. You've got to know what you want to achieve your ambition. You've got to know how committed you really want to be. And can you sustain it? okay because it is going to take a lot of focus you know it's commitment to yourself as well as other people but commitment to yourself becomes you know a, a priority is you know 
you realise it's going to be a challenge. You realise that well, both of you realise it's going to be a lot of hard work and very, very challenging. But there's there's a big chemistry there between you and this person. The way forward. Kind of like let's forget the past. Yeah, there's going to be an opportunity to get together. But it's it's overcoming the competition. Okay, five of wands. Now, despite your happiness, okay, and the avoidance of confrontation, unfortunately, confrontation is inevitable. You are, sorry, you're get, just getting comfortable. You are kind of going to have, although you perhaps want to avoid confrontation, you, you, you're in kind of like a passive mode at the moment, all right? Uh, but you are going to have to make a very resolute choice. And I'm kind of getting here. Somebody is going to get the nose put out of joint. Somebody is going to get hurt. Okay. The question is who? And that's the big dilemma. So it's kind of like questioning your motives. There is, I'm kind of getting you feel you would be much happier in a different place to the one you're in now. Why is this three of ones here, please? justice card it perhaps means that legal issues okay relocation different lifestyle okay now for some of you you are dealing with a soulmate all right but the question is seeing that soul connection on its true level soulmate the clues in the name soul mate not necessarily work buddy partner marriage okay uh, it's it's a spiritual reflection of oneself. This is this is why the attraction and this is why the chemistry is so strong. Is you can't break a soulmate connection, not energetically. You can live one mile apart, fifty thousand miles apart, doesn't matter. You can't break that connection. It doesn't matter the years difference. If you're twenty five for uh, for sake and they're in the sixties, okay, it's irrelevant. We're talking about soul energy, spiritual energy here. Okay, but there is, it's, you're trying to be fair to everybody. You're trying to, you know, be much more compassionate. Your attitude to life is much more balanced. Queen of Wands here. The Emperor, yeah, taking charge. Being responsible. Somebody here wants to take the connection to a deeper level. But it's, it's, it's responsibility. It's responsibility. There's a big desire here, and there the, the is part with that responsibility comes means slowing it down, thinking you know of all aspects of it, and not just jumping into it, being overzealous. Mm, kind of getting the universe is granting your wish here, at least energetically. Judgment card, facing the challenges with resolution. Okay, determination, courage. Mm. but taking your time to think about it this is about overcoming your fears okay and confrontation is inevitable for a lot of you okay but it's the way you handle that that's going to make all the difference wheel of fortune yeah things are turning your life is taking an unexpected turn yeah I'm kind of getting this the situation as it's been, all right, has been kind of avoided. You know, you've been denying your own emotions, denying yourself, putting other people's feelings first. Well, yeah, you're you're doing a lot of reevaluating about all relationships in your life. Okay, let's get this five of wands here. Yeah very very strong relationship coming in there is a change of space here a change of work for some of you travel okay and all these things are going to have to be worked out but most of all it's about overcoming fear overcoming inhibitions and putting those dreams and ambitions and bringing them into reality to create a beautiful thing that's what it's all about thank you very much for watching and please stick around for up and coming videos Bye for now.